racism and they just have to die. These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please do your own research and this is for entertainment purposes only. Wait just one second because the hair is bothering me. One second, let me put my hat back on. I'm sorry, so apologies for that. Oprah, these are all very personal views from observing Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle, and now that wanker, Ginger Harry. I'm at the farm as you can see. Sorry about that. Um, Oprah has a huge chip on her shoulder because she was not born white. In my opinion, she feels hard done by because of that. She truly thinks that had she been born white, she would be better off. And this is a woman who is a black billionaire in a country that she clearly seems to hate and towards a race that she wants to annihilate. Now, in that little tidbit when she said that all the, the old Southern people must die. Does that include Harry Windsor? who's been racist since he was a child. Oprah is desperate to be white, in my opinion. And her biggest problem is that she's not. There's a lot of white, poor people, very poor people who had it worse than she did. And it had nothing to do with race because poverty does not know color, ethnicity, or anything like that, you know? By the way, I just want to say something Latinos are not like breakfast tacos, so screw you, Jill Biden. We're not like that. We're very unique people, and you know that term Latinx? That is embarrassing, humiliating, and why? The Latin community has clearly stated that we don't fucking like it, and I'm sorry I'm swearing, but it's the truth, okay? I'm sorry my dogs are in the back. So I just wanted to say that and clarify that because the entire Latin community has said no, but the woke white people insist on calling the Latin community a name that we don't want. Go figure. So anyways, um, I'm offended. They should have called us, we're as unique as, a, as an enchilada or an empanada is even better, you know? But no, as a taco. That's how ordinary we are. Anyways, so Oprah is really upset that she doesn't have the skin color that she had to overcome so much adversity that many millions of people have done that. In the school that I, that I help and that I have, that we have children that are worse off than she is or she ever was at that age. You know, it is a daily struggle to keep them in school because they feel like the parents want to exploit them and send them to work so they can, you know, because it's, it, make, it makes more sense for them to have the kids working than being in school because they don't produce anything when they're in school you know it, it is a terrible thing it is a terrible thing so oprah has dedicated now that she's be, now that she's become a billionaire oprah is dedicated to trashing white people that's what she's doing she's trashing white people right left and center and she's using anybody She's using a nobody like Meghan Markle, who wants to be white. Meghan Markle wishes she was completely white. <sighs> to, and this is another thing of Meghan Markle's chip on her shoulder, which is why when she went to Malta, she didn't go looking for her black ancestor. She, her ancestors are not from Malta. I need to clarify that. Her ancestors are white people who immigrated from the United Kingdom to Malta looking for a better way of life. And of course, that ended up being in Malta. Even the queen was in Malta at one time. So yeah, uh, Meghan Markle is a woman who at best, she has called herself biracial or mixed race, not even biracial, and who's now exploiting Oprah's need to annihilate, destroy what she sees as the symbol of whiteness even though the queen has black ancestors and, and Harry has Hindu ancestors. And of course we have Harry wanting to be white, sorry, wanting to be black. Apparently now Harry can speak on behalf of the black community of such an icon as Nelson Mandela. 
I mean, where is this world coming to? Oprah hates the white people because she's not white. Megan wants to be white, but doesn't want to hate white people because she's always hung around them all the time. And now Harry is speaking on behalf of the black community as though he's the best representative for the black community to speak about Nelson Mandela. Can somebody please tell me what the hell is going on in this world? And of course, it is not, I, 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 have, I left the thing saying, what is a keynote speech? A keynote speech is what sets the tone for an official government gathering. What's happening, yes, yeah, so many of you pointed out that it's there at Harry's, uh, it is at Harry's, um, it isn't the UN thing, but it's an informal gathering. It is a completely informal gathering and he's not given a keynote speech. He's, he's told to talk about that, but it's completely inappropriate. But this is how woke and idiot things are. Meghan Markle has been, has lived her entire life as a white person. Um, shun her, the black community completely, because even by her own words, she said that she was too white to be black. You know, there's a saying that I really like that says, when a prince, when a prince marries a clown, the clown doesn't become a prince or princess. It just turns the palace into a circus and denigrates the palace circus style, which is what Harry did. He married a clown and Meghan Markle has turned everything into a circus. They don't speak the truth. Neither does Oprah, neither does Harry, and God knows it doesn't make a least of all. So what is there to fear? Meghan Markle has to realize that she's just a mixed race person. Oprah should be enjoying her life, her, you know, her old age, that she's a black billionaire in a country that she deems racist. And she should quit hanging around royalty who to her is the symbol of the worst form of racism. It's amazing how Meghan Markle and Harry insist on using all the royal titles that they're still, for now, allowed to use, in spite of the fact that they have deemed the entire monarchy institution, the institution of the monarchy, the country of the United Kingdom, and the royal family as racist. Why is Oprah still calling them Duke and Duchess of Sussex? when she should be calling them Harry Wanker and Megan Mattress. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching and thank you for the donations. You guys are amazing. Leave me your comments. And yes, these are horses right here. I'm sorry, I just, you know, I, I wanna do more videos for you guys. So let me know what you think.